I was out of town. There was a message. My niece said, Aunt Annie, are you sitting down? She says, it's Uncle Glenn. He's gone. Glenn Johnson, semi-retired, died in a head-on collision. The crash report says a 17-year-old was going 70 miles an hour in the wrong lane. There was no time to stop or get out of the way. Glenn Johnson and one of the teens riding in the car died. It's a tragedy for two families played out thousands of times a year and all because of speed. According to the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, speed is a cause of nearly a third of all fatal crashes. And it's not hard to see the science behind the numbers. With the help of the Guilford County Sheriff's Department, we set up a stop distance experiment. 15, 20, 25. First at 25 miles an hour. In perfect conditions. 30 feet, 2 inches. At the speed limit of a school zone, it took a deputy 30 feet to stop. 20, 30, 35. Now at 10 miles an hour. 53 feet, 4 inches. At 35 miles an hour, the speed limit for most city streets, the stopping distance increased by 20 feet. 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. Another 10 miles an hour. 82 feet, 9 inches. Another 30 feet. But with just another 5 miles an hour, the speed limit for most rural roads, we added nearly that same distance. 45, 50. 110 feet, 4 inches. And this experiment is based on perfect conditions with a deputy who's anticipating the stop. The distance is when you react at 45 compared to say 65 is so much greater. Add in the reaction times and research shows at 50 miles an hour it'll take you 75 yards to stop. At 65 miles an hour, which is the speed limit for most of our interstates, you'll need an additional 40 yards, more than the length of a football field, to safely stop. The reality is that speed does kill and most of it is absolutely senseless, you know. Getting there two or three extra minutes isn't going to make a difference for somebody's life. Ann Johnson isn't bitter, just sad for her loss and the potential loss of so many others. Whenever I see a speeding teenager, I just cry because I know that something may happen to them. But I just wish they would all slow down and let themselves live.